Hey guys, it's Tony. And Mallory. And you're watching Camping Corner. It's week nine. And we're super excited that you're back here having a lot of fun. I know we're having a lot of fun. So we're going to jump right into it today because we got a lot of cool stuff to talk about. So we're going to talk about what we found around the web. All right. The first thing with around the web are camping hacks. So we asked you guys, what are your favorite camping hacks? And we got some really awesome responses. Sharon, uh, Sharon Allen said, we buy the aluminum chafing pans from Sam's Club and heavy duty aluminum foil and do all of our cooking in them. They clean up easy, throw them away and relax around the campfire. Gotta love a good easy cleanup, right? That's a big thing. Oh, another top fan. A new one. Laura. A new one. All right. Laura, Laura Hill. She said, put non-glazed ceramic tiles in bottom of oven to prevent burning of anything in the oven. I bought Pampered Chef small pizza stones because I couldn't find unglazed tiles. Works great. I've heard that actually from a few people. Yeah, that's a, that's a really cool idea. Yeah. Because a lot of people truly believe that most RV ovens do two things. Burn stuff. They store stuff like bread and Oreos yep. and they burn stuff. Amen. So that's a great idea. So everybody try that. What a great hack that is from Laura. Yes. All right. So some awesome camping related quotes that we ran across that we wanted to share with you guys. First one, one who lives sees much. One who travels sees more. We can never have enough nature. Ooh, that's true. All right, and the other one, let's wander where the Wi-Fi is weak. I personally like this one because I like my kids. I take away basically any tablet, any electronic device that they have whenever we go camping because that's not the point is for them to explore. And I'm relatively sure there's a whole lot of people watching this uh, episode that can relate to this. I know I, I, know I do. Uh, I'm starting to get camping fever. Yes, for sure. All right, so last one. How many of you guys are guilty of this? Favorite camping game, gather firewood from neighbor's site as soon as they leave. We've I, done it. I don't even wait for them to leave. <laughs> I wait, like maybe they go to the bathhouse or something. Um, or they, you know, they, I don't know, they're, they're someplace. They, oh, they took the dog for a walk. <laughs> so nobody put your camper yep. next to Tony. Yep. <laughs> Yep. And if you leave food on the fire and, and disappear, I may in fact sample it before you come back. So one that I didn't find on here, but I just ordered a shirt for it. And I think a lot of people can relate to it and hopefully it doesn't bother anybody. I just found this shirt and ordered that says, never take it, never take camping advice from me. You'll only end up intoxicated. Actually it says drunk, but I was looking for a better, cleaner <laughs> word. That's but, probably true with you. Yeah, probably. <laughs> Bloody Marys. You betcha. Gotta love them. All right. So our full-time RVers this week are Alexa and Tyler. So they are currently living in a Keystone hideout in the Blue Ridge Mountains, which is amazing to have that view every morning. Also with their seven-year-old daughter, Tinsley, and four dogs. So two things that are super cool about these folks. Mm -hmm. So they have a beagle named Sadie who lives in the camper with them. Mm -hmm. But Alexa is a registered nurse and Tyler works in law enforcement. So thank you both for what you do. Yes. We really appreciate it. And I also thought it was super cool that they have their own leather working business. Mm -hmm. And in the, the comments section down below, we'll have their Instagram, uh, which is uh, Instagram at choosing less. And they make some super cool uh, primitive provision products uh, that you can get uh, made out of leather. So make sure you check them out and leave them a little note and tell them that you saw it here. Yeah, they do make some beautiful stuff. I mean, there's some, there's a purse, looks like some wallets, some earrings, some really cool things. So really neat that they do this on the side. Yeah, absolutely. So we've also got some new RV reno information coming in. Uh, Carly and her husband are a design duo and they renovated a 2008 Montana 3585SA. Mm -hmm. You can see the before and after pictures here. They did a beautiful job. Looks super cool. 
made some great changes to the, the living room. And if you look at the living room slide, the before and after with having that sofa in there versus the two chairs, just really open it up and really looks fantastic. A cool little fireplace mantle as well. Their kitchen is amazing. I mean, beautiful with the colors and everything that they did here. So, you know, always guys, if you're doing any type of renovation or making any changes to your camper, make sure you send us before and after pictures because it just absolutely looks fantastic. There is nothing in their dining room. If you look at that picture for their dining room, there is nothing about that dining room that says that that's in an RV. Nope. Looks like a home. Yeah, a absolutely. Home. So they did a wonderful, wonderful job. Uh, really wow. love the light colors and how it, how it opened everything up. Uh, it looks like they even put some recessed lighting in the bedroom um, that looks super cool so yeah lots and lots of cool things so our next segment was ask an expert yes so cody hunter asked how do you manually override your rack and pinion electric slide to retract it or extend it so check that out in this next video you can see it here take it away josh hey everybody it's josh walnut ridge uh i guess on our ask an expert question that we posed on the uh, on Facebook and and on our website uh, one of our followers did ask how do you manually run in a rack and pinion slide system or the RAM system like what's on this hideout here um, and it's actually fairly simple to do um, you just have to know where to look to, to get to um, the manual side of to be able to run it in so if we look underneath this you can see on the front end of this slide is where the, the ram is, which is this, this part here. This is what actually pushes out, and there's two uh, rails that the slide out runs on. In between these two rails, which is this back part here, there's a crossbar that goes across and connects them, and they're, they're gear driven. So this ram pushes on this rail, but then as this rail moves, it turns gears on that crossbar, which will turn the gears on that end to push that rail out. So that's how both sides are going to come out at the same time. So the first thing we have to do is look for which side is the ram driven side, because that's the side that's going to have the motor on it. And also the side that's going to have the location for the, to, for you to put a handle on or a, a wrench or, or whichever method it's going to be to be able to turn that motor manually and run it out. Now there's some other ways in a pinch if the motor's locked up or we can't turn it there that actual crossbar that runs across you could just take a wrench and slowly crank that thing out it would take quite a while to get it in but it, it can be done because all you're doing essentially is just running those gears um, to run the two rams so i want to show you on the other side where this where the ram is here the motor is actually on the other side of this hideout and so to be able to put the crank in, there's actually a hole that's that's right back here. And so just right underneath the steps, you can see an access hole straight back from that is the motor. And I'm actually gonna, I'll steal the camera from you here and I'll show you the motor right there. And you can see on the end of it, there's a pin in there, but that's actually uh, where you would put uh, a socket or if you, uh, the crank handle that comes with this to turn it. And you turn that motor and that's actually just gonna that's gonna run the ram back in and that'll pull the rooms in so if you're out there camping you get stuck with your slide out won't move um you'll be able to come here on the motor run that and and get it in and and then be able to pack it up and take it somewhere to have it uh, have it looked at and see what was going on with that system hope that answers your question thanks all right so this week on what's the buzz so I know a lot of people have uh, the powered coolers, mm -hmm. so when they travel, you know, not only do they have a bunch of stuff in their um, refrigerator in their RV, but because of the fact that they may be a little bit off the grid or just a long distance, they buy the powered coolers, 12 volt powered coolers to keep their stuff in. Dometic just came out with a new series that adds an ice maker to it. So super cool, if you've got a camper that you don't have an ice maker in or you don't have one of the little portable ice makers, mm -hmm. you could buy one of the new Dometic powered coolers and actually have an ice maker with it. So even if you were sitting in the campground, you've got an unlimited supply of ice to keep the Bloody Marys and the mixed drinks going. Yeah, that's neat. Super cool. All right, Gadget Corner. 
So this week in Gadget Corner, our hand model producer slash Dan brought us a couple cool things. Ooh, some tongs. Some tongs. It's a spatula, guys, and a tong. How cool is that? It's called the Super Tong Combo. Half tong, half spatula. You can do it all with one tool. It's like a MacGyver tool of <laughs> grilling. It really kind of is. So when you drop the hot dog off the like grill and it falls down in the coals and you got to get it out, you can tong it out. <laughs> or if you got to flip hamburgers, you can do that too. You do that with the spatula. Don't time. laugh. Even Dan's laughing. Everybody here has done that. True. Okay. You got me. D dropped it on the floor. It like rolls off and lands on the ground. You pick it up real quick. The five second rule. Like wipe the dirt and grass off of it. If the dog doesn't I'll give say, it. I say I have three dogs. There is no five seconds. You know, if the dog doesn't give it. it, it you get gotta, it. You got to quickly look around and make sure nobody saw it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> make sure nobody saw it. And then you fix a plate for your your friend. I mean, your friend of me. Your friend of me. Yeah. I would do that to my friend Jordan. I love him to death. I love him like a brother. But, yeah, Jordan may have, in fact, eaten something that's been on the ground. <laughs> and you probably took his firewood, too. Jordan never has firewood. <laughs> D Jordan probably comes and takes my firewood. Oh, my goodness. Yep. But his wife, Becky's awesome. And his little girl, Sawyer, absolutely adorable. Love him. Love him to death. So I, we, we have to take Jordan for who he is because we love Becky and Sawyer. Yeah. Absolutely awesome. <laughs> oh, so we also got a laundry reel. Um, so this gives you the capability that you can uh, do laundry, even if you're doing it in the bathtub or the camper uh, or in the kitchen sink or the kids get. So you can string this out and you can hang stuff from it, uh, beach towels, things yep. like that. So it's just a portable little uh, clothesline that you can take with you any place. Uh, make sure you put it up high enough that it's not at that angle that if the kids come running through the campground that, you know, eh, you, you know what else is nice about that? Uh, I know in our camper we use a portable washing machine that we can take in and out of the camper. You have the little footman? No, actually it's a plug-in. <laughs> really? But you can hook it up to the sink or the, the shower and then my wife uses one of those to dry it. So oh. we don't have a dryer, we just have the washer. So it's kind of a cool little feature to add to your cheap washer. Nice. Dan, our producer, is he's not telling the whole truth. He actually uses like one of those old washboards. <laughs> like he's from the 1800s. <laughs> no, he right. You know? <laughs> and then he runs it through a ringer. <laughs> but he, his ringer is he lays it out on the ground, drives the vehicle over the top of it, just <laughs> he squeegee all the water out of it. Hey, got to do what you got to do. <laughs> it's a guy thing. It's a guy thing. So in our next segment, <laughs> we're getting a little loose with the show now. I love it. Uh, we did Gadget Corner. Oh, industry, industry. news. Industry news. You know, uh, this week's industry news, super cool. I'm going to give all of the credit to, to uh, Mallory on this. She found an absolutely incredible story. And uh, so for that, I'm going to shut up and take it away. <laughs> so we have this woman, Carla Brown. She actually found a journal that was her grandparents' um, RV adventures through the states that they went through. So she retraced their steps um, in her own RV travels as well and actually completed the journey to all 50 states, so Hawaii and Alaska, since her grandparents could not go there. So she did complete the journal as well, but just super neat that she wanted to complete this history with her grandparents, especially since a lot of her memories with her grandparents were camping and being outdoors. So super cool, um, definitely a neat story to check out and read about because you just, these are kind of fun, heartwarming things to hear about. Yeah, we'll have Dan put the link to that story uh, in the comments section. So check it out, guys. It, it was super cool. Um, and, and something that kind of happened personally this week that was kind of neat, my, my big sister posted a picture someplace on the Walnut Ridge website of me at like maybe five or six mm -hmm. at the campground with my beautiful curly locks of blonde hair, which I used to have. No <laughs> hair here, lots of hair up here, but super cool. And it was taken at the campground, Camp Modoc in uh, outside of Modoc, Indiana. Um, which we grew up at, literally, mm -hmm. 
Um, we were there every weekend. We had a, a group of great friends, and some of my earliest memories were growing up in the campground, and that was super cool that my sister dug that picture out uh, and sent into the website. So I haven't looked on the website to find it yet, but it's I think it's there someplace. So, so that that story that that would just kind of you know rang a chord to to yeah. that. So. Yep. No, it was super neat. All right. That is it. That's it? That's it. That's all? I know. It's sad. Another, it is kind of sad. Another episode has come to an end, guys. So, guys, if there's some topics that you want to talk about, not that we're not running out of stuff to talk about at it's all. It's fun to talk about what you want to hear. Yeah. About. You know, we, we get to do this, you know, all day, every day, and we have a great time doing it, and we love, you know, doing these episodes. We're having a lot of fun, gaining a lot of traction. Uh, getting lots and lots of people keep sending stuff in so we can get more and more top fans. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Send us your camping videos, your or, or camping photos, your pet photos, your recipes, your co your favorite cocktail, campground cocktail. Um, you know, I, one of the cool ones about that, my wife likes to take, um, and the group of friends that we camp with, they take a bottle of Moscato, mm -hmm. and they take a two-liter bottle of Squirt. Okay. Which is like a like a sprite, spritey mm -hmm. kind of fruity drink, mm -hmm. and they just mix it 50/50 over ice and start drinking it. It's a great refreshing. I'm not a big wine fan, but I have to admit I do kind of like it. Uh, it's great when it's hot out. So if you've got some favorite uh, camping cocktails, anything like that, they don't have to be al alcoholic. If you've got a secret wet recipe for sun tea or homemade lemonade or anything like that, send those in to us, guys. Believe it or not, people. There are always people that are looking for stuff like that. Yeah. Remember, you may be an expert in an old hat at, at camping. You know, we camp a lot. Dan, our producer, camps a lot. You know, we all know people that camp. But there's a lot of people that buy their very first camper all the time. And they're always looking for those tricks and hacks. So yes. make sure you guys get involved. And if you ever run into those people in a campground, make their day better and just, you know, pass along their their pass along your experience and your expertise on how to do different things. You know, they get lost about stuff like that. So that's my public service announcement. Hey guys, we'll see you later. Bye. See you later. Bye.